In this tutorial, we're going to explain the software named Inlight. Now, Inlight is freeware. You can download it just by going to Google and typing in Inlight Downloads. Now, Inlight is a software that changes the way Windows installs, and it ranges from Windows 98 ME all the way up to Windows XP. By the time you reach this tutorial, they probably have a version for Vista out also. And Inlight is a software that allows you to change the way Windows is installed. You can include the newer service packs if your current installation disk doesn't have it, the drivers for your specific system that save you time of installing it later. Uh, you can also uninstall certain Windows components that you don't use like Media Player, maybe Internet Explorer or Outlook Express. And it, it does a lot more. In this tutorial, we're going to use Inlight to integrate SATA drivers inside of a Windows XP installation. Most of the newer hard drives are coming out in serial format, which is SATA. So if you upgraded your hard drive and tried to reinstall XP on it, if you're using the older XP installation disk, you will get an error message telling you that setup has not found the hard drive. That's because XP doesn't have SATA drivers integrated inside of them the older installation disk of course. So once you opened up Inlight, this is the screen you're presented with and you're going to select next. Now in this windows here is asking you for the location of the XP installation disk. So what we've done here, we took our installation disk, put it in our CD-ROM drive and we copied the contents to a folder on our hard drive and in this case we put it on our desktop so that's what this is asking for the, basically the i386 folder so once you select browse you can navigate to where you placed your uh, XP installation files at I already have it selected here so once you come to this conclusion you explain to you what it noticed from your current Windows XP installation in our case it shows the version, the size, where it's located at and you see we have service pack 2 already installed and this is Windows XP Home Edition so that's a good thing Then you're gonna select next this windows here just shows different presets that you can create but we're gonna leave that blank and go to next now here it asks you what you wanna integrate, remove, setup options or you can create Okay, we have Service Pack 2 already installed, so we're going to leave that alone. You can add hot fixes and updates, drivers. We want that highlighted. You see that's green because we're going to put SATA drivers in there. You can remove certain components. You can set it up for unattended installation. This is good if you install XP on a lot of systems at the workplace. Here's some other options, tweaks in the bootable ISO. We want to also have this selected because we want Inlight to create an image for us so we can put it on the CD and install it on our system. So once you have the option selected that you want, you're going to click Next. And here, because it noticed that we had drivers selected, so it's asking for the drivers that we want to integrate into this installation. So you're going to select Insert. And here we're going to use just a single driver for SATA. I'm going to use it went automatically to the folder that I have the drivers in, or this is where you were located at if it doesn't do it for you. Select on that file there, select open, and it shows you the different drivers that it found. Now you have regular plug and play driver or text mode. I always select text mode, and we're going to select all of these from here if you know the exact driver you need for your uh, SATA controller you can select it here but I select all of them just to play it safe select OK then it's telling you the drivers here and the date of them then you select next from here okay once you have that established and you agree with the the drivers that's going to be installed you select next and like ask you do you want to start the process this is basically finished 
then you see here it shows you the process that it's going through okay once in light finishes it presents you with this screen it tells you the total size of your ISO image what drivers was integrated in the size and how large did your installation grow since okay once you select next it's gonna bring you to the ISO field and here it's asking you whether you want to do create image or you could burn directly to a disk also or you can take an image and burn it we're gonna let it create an image you can make a label here we just put uh, win XP home because it's home edition the ISO image we'll leave that as default the burn speed it's an image so a lot of these options are not even available for you to change anything the boot sector default then it says click here to start as you click here to make the ISO once you select make ISO it'll bring you with another window asking you where you want to create your ISO image at I would recommend just sending it to my documents or unless you already have a destination that you want one thing I forgot to add, once your ISO image is finished, you select next and then finish and the process is done.